So another um, way that we can categorize spontaneous parametric down conversion is by the polarization of the pump signal and idler photons. So uh, we can have type zero spontaneous parametric down conversion. And for this type of spontaneous parametric down conversion, the signal and idler have the same polarization as the pump. So here um, we could have say an ordinary polarized pump beam, which uh, produces ordinary polarized signal and ordinary polarized idler. Um, we can also have type one spontaneous parametric down conversion where our signal and idler have the same polarization as each other, but a different polarization than the pump. So you could have extraordinary polarized pump, which produces ordinary polarized signal, ordinary polarized idler, or of course this reverse situation. And lastly, uh, we can have type two spontaneous parametric down conversion. And this is describing the case where the signal and idler have opposite polarization. So of course there are different combinations we can have here. Uh, with, res with respect to or uh, the ordinary and extraordinary polarized polarization of the signal idler and pump. And the important thing is that just the signal and idler have to have opposite polarizations to each other. And if we want to look at examples uh, of uh, type 1 and type 2 spontaneous parametric down conversion, um, just to visualize this even more concretely, um, I've included some uh, kind of schematics. So for one example for a type one spontaneous parametric down conversion process, uh, we have um, this, we have basically entangled photons that can be emitted in pairs along a cone. Uh, and an example of the possible polarization entangled state you might get out is HH, where H is horizontally polarized. Um, we can also have a type two spontaneous parametric down conversion and one way to get this is um, by having these entangled photons emitted in pairs along two cones, which are intersecting, and then um, considering the intersection points for these cones to um, obtain the entangled photons. One example of a possible polarization entangled state from here would be um, 1 over root 2 HV plus VH. Uh, so we now have this mixing of the polarizations where H is a horizontal polarization, V is a vertical polarization, um, but we have a superposition state um, between uh, the polarization for the, and specifically an entangled state for the polarizations of the signal and idler photons.